Away millionaire, it's me, and I'm back with it. A smart trader analysis, a smart trader setup. Today's trade of the day is USD CAD. I'm selling CAD here. The trade is in a bit is in profit already. Um, it's just about to hit the TP. This pips away from the TP. Um, yeah, smart trade analysis, a smart trader setup. USD CAD, it's the 28th of Feb. And the reason why I'm trading USD CAD is if you go to Forex Factory, you'll see that Friday, the 28th of Feb, 3.30 p.m., we had high impact news, okay, high impact Forex news on CAD. 3.30 p.m. GDP and you know what it is when there's high impact news um, the smart traders come out and play and we analyze the markets and we look for easy trade setups okay and this is um, why I traded USD CAD so there was CAD high impact news I took the dollar put it with CAD and traded USD CAD so in this video, I'm going to show you how I sold USD CAD and how you too can um, trade Forex High Impact News using Forex Factory and using the Smart Trader Analysis to do so. If you want to know how to become a more consistent and profitable trader and learn the advanced professional tips of how to do so, then start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so that you don't miss out on anything. But let's get into the analysis. USD CAD, sell, let's crack into it. Batman, Batman, Batman. So the aim of the game when it comes to trading Forex high impact news from Forex Factory is to trade like a smart trader and follow the smart money. Now, what does that mean? It means that you want to trade supply and demand with Forex volume in order to trade with the banks. And it's that simple. It's that clear. It's that literally like it is what it is. And um, if you want to be a consistent and profitable trader, then you will trade that way. But if you don't, you'll keep blowing your accounts, you'll keep gambling, you'll keep doing all the stupid shit that amateur traders do, and uh, you'll never make money in this business. But um, again, supply and demand, forex volume. So, skibbity pap, what we do here is we go to the four-hour time frame, and we now go and identify our supply and demand levels. Now, I'll start with the demand level. Demand level, boom, boom, right over there. Very simple, using Forex volume to do so. Um, and to be as specific as possible, let's see exactly where this level is. So if we are specific as possible, there's our demand level, nice and easy um using our fx volume to do so and uh like very simple okay now what we're going to do now is we're going to now identify the supply level okay the supply level now if you have uh my free uh video training on how to identify my uh, your supply and demand level then uh, this will make sense to you. And uh, for those of you that already do have the, the video, I'm going to show you a couple of things here um, because this could have been a little bit uh, confusing for you to identify. So again, looking for the uh, supply level, there were a couple of levels to identify here, potential levels that we had to spot. So boom, first one was over here. Okay, that was the first level right over there. Okay, we're using the forex volume to do so. So boom for our time frame. We also had another potential level right over there. 
again we're using forex volume to do so and um so these were the two levels um that uh i was looking at for the supply level this is from the four hour time frame now the problem here is because this supply level is way back in time if we go to the 15 minute time frame you will see that from the 15 minute time frame you can't go back to that data because it's far back in time so in instances like that where you can't drill down to the 15 minute time frame you need to drill down to the lowest time frame possible that uh, your your charting data allows you so 30 minute time frame still can't find the data but if we go to the one hour time frame we scroll all the way down to the one hour then we are able to see those levels so only in instances where um where your charting data doesn't allow you to go as far back as you want to in time then you drill down to the lowest time frame possible and in my case here the lowest time frame possible for the supply level is the one hour time frame so boom we'll start with the first level over there as we can see we're using the fx volume to help us to identify the supply level so there we go there is our supply level number one nice and simple okay and then supply level number two as you can see we're using the forex volume to do that boom there we go there is supply level number two now if you don't have uh, the free video training and you're a little bit confused as to what i'm talking about click on the link in the description so you can get hands on that free video training so you can learn how to identify where the banks are identify where the smart money is like a smart trader now we identified supply level number one supply level number two but if you see over here again the forex volume is showing us another potential um supply level another potential supply level right over there okay so again it's screaming in your face you can see it right there so that was another potential supply level so boom there we go so we had supply level number one supply level number two supply level number three now if we go back to the four hour time frame our levels are plotted plotted nice and simple very easy now we go to the 15 minute time frame we look at the price action and uh, we see where the smart money is we see what the dumb money is thinking and then we simply just know what the smart trader is supposed to do so again here's our demand level supply level number one supply level number two supply level number three so what we had for the day was price coming off the demand level and broke through the first level of supply broke through the first level of supply and went to go and test supply level number two and this is before the news was released so price came to go test supply level number two so already we know when price tests a supply level we want to sell if price tests a demand level we want to buy so in this case price is testing a supply level so we want to be selling and also we already know what the dumb money is thinking we already know that the amateurs have seen price go up they want to be buying so um, you simply do the opposite because we don't trade like amateurs we trade like smart traders we follow the banks so there we go before the news we knew that we wanted to be selling so in this case when you know you want to sell price is testing the supply level all you got to do now is plot your entry and your stop loss and what we use to plot the entry and the stop loss is we use the most recent fractal high as well as the most recent fractal low to plot plot our entry or our stop loss whether we're buying or we're selling if we're selling we use the most recent fractal high as a stop loss so here before the news which is uh before the news which is right over at this point before the news was released over there our most recent fractal high was uh this fractal high over there so that's the level that we're going to use for the stop loss as you can see with the trade that i've placed already so you can put your stop loss over there again if you want to be a little bit safe you can put it above the supply level 
if uh, you want to be a little bit more safe but most recent facts were high nice and simple and then the entry price we use um entry price we are going to use uh, the most recent fractal low so the most recent fractal low before the news was um this fractal low over there so this fractal low over here is our most recent fractal low which is where you're going to place our entry so entry price nice and simple okay and uh stop loss there we go and then your target based on your reward to risk whatever you want it to be so you place the entry you place the stop loss and you take the order okay because now you know what the smart man is thinking you know what the dumb money is thinking and you trade like a smart trader and follow the smart money and um, as you can see what happened in this trade okay because again you remember as long as you're trading with the banks as long as you've analyzed like a smart trader don't be scared take the trade put your entry put your stop loss put your target and let the trade do its thing let the banks do the thing so as you can see what happened in this trade was price triggered okay triggered into a bit of a profit and instantly ran back into the negative and as you can see almost hit the stop loss okay the trade almost hit the stop loss okay and that's the reason why you have a stop loss in the event that if the trade does not go in your favor then you have a stop loss to protect you and to protect your your trades okay so the trade almost went hit the stop loss but again you trade with the smart money as a smart trader you don't be scared you let the trade do its thing you let the banks do its thing so almost hit the stop loss but didn't hit the stop loss and uh, reversed went all the way back now is in profit and is about to go and hit the top okay so when you trade with the banks you don't need to worry okay because you have a higher probability of being profitable okay you're never going to be profitable 100 percent of the time but you're going to have a high probability of being profitable if you trade forex high impact news like a smart trader and this is what it is that's why when we trade these easy high impact news setups we don't stress okay we just come in we come to steal the pips from the banks and we come to make these easy pips and make these easy profits and that's what it is it's friday it's the weekend we're done for the week we're done for the day and it's uh another day another dollar and that's how the trade crumbled and that's how the trade unfolded if you enjoyed this video then feel free to take a screenshot share it on instagram and tag me let me know what you learned and also if you like the video make sure that you hit the like button you leave a comment to let me know what you've learned and let me know if you want to be a smart trader okay because only smart traders make consistent profits in this business amateur traders unlikely you're never going to make it in this business um it is what it is but that's me forex high impact news i'll see in the next high impact news analysis i'm out bam, 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 bam.